Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at something very exciting indeed. Uh, one of my favourite toys as a child. We are looking at the 1973 release by Ideal Toys from their Evil Knievel series of stunt vehicles and action figures. And this particular one we are looking at today is of the Stunt Cycle playset. And these were released, they started being released in 1973 when Evil Knievel was at the height of his popularity and doing jumps all over the world. And to keep all the kids in thralls, they produced these series of high quality action uh, toys that you could physically play with and perform stunts with. So, the one we're looking at today is actually a shop find. So this particular one has never been sold, never been played with. It is still mint in the box. And this is the one that we're gonna be looking at today. So this is the front of the box and it says, for children five and up, king of the stuntman, Evil Knievel. True cycle action will jump, wheelie and race at top speed. Amazing action superbike from the king of the stuntman. And it's got stunt cycle and there's an image of the toy itself and Evil Knievel riding the bike. It says complete with figure, stunt cycle and energizer. And it's got gyro powered motor, no batteries, no electricity. And you've got the ideal logo at the bottom there. Now I'm just going to turn the box to the side. Um, and it's just come out a little bit and you can see what we've got on the side. So it's got the US patent number and the copyright information at the very top. Um, there you can see the toy doing wheelies, um, and there you can see him doing standing jumps. It's got King of the Stuntman, Evil Can Evil Stunt Cycle, and at the bottom it says races at top speed for over 100 feet. So that's the side of the box. The back of the box, well, that's exactly the same as the front of the box. And yep, and the other side is also exactly the same as the um, other side. And if I lift the box up, um, this is what we've got on the end. And it says, ideal number 3407-4, uh, King of the Stunt Man, Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle, true cycle action, will jump, wheelie and race at top speed, amazing action superbike for the King of the Stunt Man. Okay, so that is the box. Now... I'm really excited. Let's open the box up and have a look at what we got inside. Okay, so I've removed the contents from the box and this is what we got. So you can see the bike is still within the inner packaging. It hasn't been removed at all. Um, and there is the gyro, um, which is completely untouched and unused, has never been assembled. And that's the lower section. And there's the upper section. Um, with the handle on the on the uh, outside um, Now I'm not going to put this together Because once you slot that into place and it locks in it's not re removable without uh, an awful lot of hassle because the these clips on the side they lock the gyro into the lower section so unless you can actually get your hands on the inside and push those clips in you will not be able to separate them. So that was the whole idea behind this toy, was that once it's in, it's there for you to use at any time and doesn't need to be assembled once it's already done. Uh, obviously, we've got the bike at the back there, which we'll come to in a minute. Evil Knievel figure. Now, obviously, he's still contained within the original bag. He's still sealed. Um, there he is. If you can just see him in this light. And he's in his classic white uh, jumpsuit with the uh, blue stars running down in the V-shape around his chest. And he's got his belt on with the EK, EK buckle. And of course, his famous helmet with the blue and white stars uh, across the top. Okay, so that's the figure. Um, we've also got the stickers, which are the stickers for the bike. And it says on there, use these decals to decorate your Evil Knievel stunt cycle. Um, it says saddle top sticker, um, black front, and then you've got all the other stickers for the bike, which I believe, yeah, so if you look at this, the instructions, it shows you where the labels go, so you put the labels onto the bike as shown on the instruction label. Uh, it shows you how to assemble 
the energizer or the gyro and if we open it up inside it shows you how to do the um the stunts to make uh, put Eva can either onto the bike um you've got it tells you the kickstand oops let's just open it up again um shows you the kickstand at the bottom there and then shows you how he can do saddle stands and so on and how you can perform certain stunts with your toy um shows you how to load him up and how to use him how to do wheelies uh how to do jumps and other stunt positions as you can see on the instructions there and then it tells you how to maintain the stunt cycle's high performance um, and anything on the back? No, assembly just says assembly and play instructions there. And that is it, really. So that's the instructions. And now, let's have a look at the bike. And then we get some measurements of the size. Okay, so I want to be very careful with this because I don't want to damage it at all. Um, obviously, it's so old and in, in such good condition. But I think, yeah, okay, so if I pull that down... And then maybe we can just slot the bike. Yep, so the bike, I can slot the bike out of the um, hold, holdle. There you can see the kickstand at the bottom, which I've put down. And there's the bike standing. Let's just move that back. So, um, so this is the plain bike without any stickers attach, attached and what it looks like brand spanking new. Now... I have got another version here, which is one that I've had in my collection for some years. And this particular one has had all the stickers put on um, and you can see the difference. So it does make a difference having the stickers put on. Um, and this one that's, oops, excuse me. This one that's in my collection, you can see the plastic saddle at the back is missing. So this particular one, um, there's certain things that you can't do on it anymore because that uh, that saddle is missing. But that's to, just to give you a rough idea of what the bike will look like with the stickers on. Okay, so let's get some sizes. Uh, so let's measure from the end of the tyre, front wheel, to the back of the exhaust pipe. We're looking at about 23 centimetres or 9 inches. Uh, Height-wise, so if we measure from the bottom of the stand to the top of the handlebar we're looking at about uh, 11 and a half centimeters or four and a half inches and if we just turn the bike around and if we measure across the handlebars which i think is the widest point we're looking at three inches or eight centimeters so that's an idea of the bike and why we're measuring things let's just put that kickstand back down again let's give evil the same treatment so evil can evil from top of his head to the bottom of his foot you're looking at uh, 18 centimeters or seven inches um, width wise which will be across his hands um, so we're looking at about what is that about uh, six and a half centimeters or two and a half inches and depth wise which will be probably be his head the widest point um, we're looking at around about an inch deep or uh, two and a half centimeters so that gives you the sizes of evil Knievel um, and obviously the bike now there's the bike is a gyro powered motor so I don't know if you can hear that so that's the motor in the bike and obviously what you do is you insert the bike into the clips on the gyro wind the gyro up which powers up the bike and as soon as you stop the bike comes off shoots off um, and depending on how you position your figure depending on depends on what um, he's going to be doing whether he's going to be doing wheelies whether he's going to be doing jumps uh, whether he's going to be doing somersaults or what have you it all depends on how you position the um, figure okay so that is the bike and the equipment now what i would like to do now i can't do it with i'm not going to do it with a new one 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the, uh, the old bike and how it works. Okay, so as you can see, I've positioned the old bike onto the gyro. Uh, this is actually a later version of the gyro. These are the, these are the one from the um, late box uh, set versions um, that were, re were released in the uh, 1990s. Um, so that's a, um, it's not exactly the same, but it suits the bikes. Um, and that was all, I think that was all made from the same moulds anyway. So, so if you can see the, the Tang's lock into the bottom section of the bike, of the gyro, and the gear on the back of the bike meshes with the gear on the gyro. So you lock the bike into position, just like this, and then you wind the gyro. So as soon as you stop, the bike goes off. Now I'm not gonna obviously do it too far because we are, we are on a table here and I don't want the bike to fly off and get broken. So that basically is how the bike actually works. And obviously you position your figure on the back and however you position him depends on what um, he's going to be doing. Okay, so that is pretty much all I can show you on this. Um, I, I can't take it outside obviously because it is spanking new and I think I'm the first person to remove it from the box. This was a shop find. It was one of those shops that have been around for donkey's years. They shut down during the COVID um, epidemic and we went in and bought out all their stock. And while we was clearing out the um, warehouse section or the back section um, of their storage area, we found this particular item. Um, and that was amongst everything else that we bought. So there was a lot of good stuff we bought from there. A lot of stuff dated back from uh, even all the way back to the 1960s, in actual fact. It was a very, very nice find for us. And obviously um, a great find for everybody else now. So how well did these do back in the day? Well, I've got to say, Evil Can Evil was one of the top rated toys of the years um, from the 73 uh, 74, 75, 76, they were the top rated toys. Every boy and some of the girls, all they wanted for Christmas and birthdays was an Evil Knievel stunt cycle. Um, but then obviously they moved on, they developed lots of other Evil Knievel items. So there was the Scramble Van, there was the Dragster, there was the um, Sky Cycle. Um, there was the uh, jet cycle. There was loads and loads of different bikes. Dragster as well, the dragster as well. So many different items that they've done, all powered the same way on the gyros. Um, and like I say, they were just absolutely immense. The sales boomed, um, and they ran for for years um, before the line was dropped. Um, as it as does with everything after a certain amount of time um, do it, uh, um, the um, what's what called it fades um, and the toys lose their popularity um, obviously when the the character is no longer in the news so much the popularity of the character fades and then so does the um, toy lines and evil can evil toy line was the same however it went through several revivals. Um, there was um, a revivals from the, in the nineties, um, in the early nineties, then again in the late nineties, and there's recently been um, a revival again of of the stunt cycle. Uh, there was a couple of versions, two or three versions, I think, that were produced um, about four or five years ago, um, and they were based on the same moulding or made from the same mouldings. I'm led to believe um, of the boxes were a little bit smaller, um, much more compact inside, but essentially it was pretty much the same um, bike with the same design. I mean, you can't really get these designs wrong. Um, they're literally just gyro powered. But anyway, fabulous item. Millions and millions and millions were sold across the uh, country. Uh, they probably even more so in the US than they were in the UK, but one of the most popular toys ever for kids. Um, now, as a result, a lot of these toys, there's still quite a lot of these around. You can pick them up fairly easily on a lot of the platforms. Um, however, most of them these days have got damage to them. Um, they've been well played with. 
Uh, there's damage to the figures, there's damage to the bike, the gyros don't work properly. Um, so, you know, after, what well, we're talking, 50 years, 51 years, um, they have started to suffer um, damage and are, you know, still playable and still work, but not as pristine, obviously, as what um, they could have been or they were when they first came out. Unlike this one, this particular one is obviously mint condition, um, never been played with, never been sold, and I believe I was the first one to remove it from the box. So there we go, absolutely amazing. Finding them in this condition like this is absolutely or almost impossible. But lucky enough, we at Minus Touch have managed to find this one like this. We do have quite a few versions of the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle available on the website, but only one like this. This is the the mint condition one, the holy grail of all the other versions, if you like. Um, and it is available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Evil Knievel items. And many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on the review of this amazing item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.